About 34 years ago, women from different organizations, institutions, women's programs, uh, desks, as well as committees of mixed organizations, meaning mixed organizations of men and women, came together. What they wanted, actually, was full freedom and the necessity. And they came together because they felt the urgent necessity to oust the, the a dictator. So on October 28, 1983, they mobilized women in droves, more than 10,000 women, to march in the streets of Metro Manila to call for freedom of the press, freedom of speech, public assembly, and also a stop to the militias to strike breaking to human rights violations that have become daily fair nationwide since the declaration of martial law in 1972. And I see many people who were there with me. Sister Mary John was there and some other, no? And elated by the successful United Action, these groups, together with other groups from Mindanao and the Visayas, in March 1984, formed Gabriela, which is a national alliance of women. Now, Gabriela has grown after 34 year, 33 years, and it has been raising the consciousness organizing and mobilizing Filipino women to emancipate themselves from the bounds of oppression, from feudal patriarchal system, and all the societal structures that prop up such system. Women's organizations from the community and even at the national level are brought into the alliance, while individual members are recruited to form Gabriela chapters in communities, schools, workplaces, and factories. Of course, Gabriela draws into its folds women from different sectors and women from all walks of life. But it ensures and even insists that the majority of its members come from women of the lower classes. These women, they are the ones who are very, very desirous of change. And they are also the most resolute in making change happen. The women urban poor, the workers, the peasants, the indigenous women, the middle bourgeoisie, the masa, that's what we call them, give face to our daily life at Gabriela. They form and shape our campaigns, and they constantly remind us of what, is, what issues are important and relevant, particularly to the everyday lives of the majority of the women in the Philippines. They serve as the engine that propels the work of Gabriela to forward. Without them, there will be no Gabriela. Gabriela treats the issues of the nation and of the basic sectors as women's issues. And in turn, it asserts that women's issues must be regarded as national and sectoral concerns that have, it, that have to be talked about, that must be resolved. For half of the nation's population are women, and each and every sector, half of their members are also women. And the very lives of women particularly those in the lower classes, are testimonies to the links of these various issues. For example, when the price of basic goods like rice and LPG and or service utilities, electricity and water, goes up, Gabriela members take to the streets. It also took, they also take active part in kicking the U.S. bases out and in opposing the Visiting Forces Agreement and the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement, or EDCA, and recently, the Chinese intrusion on the, Fili on the West Philippine Sea. History has proven that any form of foreign control or intervention in the country is anathema to the rights and welfare of women. Landlessness in the rural areas, stagnating wages of workers, 
contractual labor, destructive mining practices, joblessness, lack of support for the education of youths are the target of Gabriela's protests. Foreign dictated economic policies like liberalization, deregulation, and even and privatization, particularly of social services, that negatively impact on women do not escape its members' ire. All women actions are launched even as members also join campaign activities of other sectors and other national organizations. The community and school, ch school chapters of Gabriela nationwide has likewise launched campaigns to demand government action for such issues as the local stockpiling in Tondo, the additional fines imposed on those who cannot pay for their monthly amortization in government relocation sites, and the additional two years of high school under the K-12 program, and there are many other issue local issues. Violence, but violence against women remains as one of Gabriela's core gender-based program. The intensifying economic and political crisis in the country is increasing the vulnerability of women to gender-based violence, as seen from the statistics now being given. Gruesome stories of violence committed on women and children have become common fare on TV, radio, and print media. These are not only individual cases of violence. Many involve groups of women, such as the case of sex trafficking, pornography, and prostitution. The use of e-technology is exacerbating vow, as in cyber, pornography, and internet sex scandals. So there are many laws that are being, that are being filed no, in connection with this. And Gabriela has also launched several campaigns on vow, while holding yearly actions in connection with the One Billion Rising Global Campaign on Violence Against Women and the International Day to, end, to Eliminate Violence Against Women. Among these are the Vow versus Vow or Voices of Women versus Violence Against Women campaign, the Blow a Whistle campaign, the Purple Rose campaign against trafficking of Filipino women, and the Rage Against Rape and campaigns against EVAW and what we call shout, sexual harassment out of campuses. These are among our campaigns. Militants, it is a trademark of Gabriela. Given the feudal patriarchal values that women daily face, we, by necessity, have to be very, very militant. This militants paves the way for various street actions, even daring actions during lobby work in the hallowed halls of Congress. But Gabriela's militance is combined with creativity and even service. We conduct fashion shows even on the streets. We have conducted already three fashion shows, no? Regarding the various issues faced by women. Dance to the One Billion Rising song during community meetings, in flag ceremonies, even in flag ceremonies in local government and national agencies, and parks, and even in Menjola. Come out with infomercials, even on social media, and sung in gatherings and rallies the, to bring across to the public and prod the people to action on the issues that we are fighting for. The advertising agency giving us free service has even won award after award because the inf of, of the infomercials and the political commercials they have made for us. Gabriela is known for its service to victims of vow and to a lesser extent to victims of human rights violations and disasters. Just recently, and because of increasing demand, we have opened our doors to women workers. Daily, we receive three to five calls for help in our hotline which at times could be overwhelming. For this reason, we have brought our services to the ground. We train those in charge and active in the services committee of our local chapters on para-counseling, paralegal work for vow victims, 
we just recently started a mobile legal clinic to cater not only to vow victims but to also to workers from the BPO industry. And for almost three decades, we have been training community workers for primary health work in areas where we have chapters. International solidarity, it plays a vital role in the work of Gabriela. It is not only part of a number, we are, oh, Gabriela is not only part of a number of multilateral alliances, but it has also initiated in setting up an international alliances, the latest of which is the International Women's, Women's Alliance or IWA. Through this alliance, it is able to bring to international attention the various issues of Filipino women and in the process find common ground and issues with women's organizations and groups from other countries. Gabriela has given voice to the various issues and concerns that women in the Philippine society, of women in the Philippine society, often packaging this as newsworthy enough to land in the front pages of newspapers on TV and on radio. And of course, we did not do it alone. No? We have also the help of the various women's organizations in the Philippines. No? And Gabriela has been able to show how national government policies and programs are worsening the plight of women, especially those who are poor, how those in the process are exposing them to more, to more violence. It has organized thousands of women across sectors, especially peasants and workers who are perennially marginalized and in need of help. It has led and in many cases, even won local struggles regarding health education, health education, housing, and other social services. And it has, it has been able to set up its own women's party list, the Gabriela Women's Party List. And it has been able to campaign and won for two representatives to Congress since 2004. And it has also helped pass laws that give protection to the rights of women. And these accomplishments we are proud of. But what are our prospects? No? So we at Gabriela see a bright future for Filipino women. For as long as they keep on organizing and acting on challenges presented to them by the worsening economic and political scenario, they will do very well. They are doing so, that they are doing so is seen in the growth of Gabriela in the last 10 years. Our member organizations from the local to the national level now number 150. And our individual membership stands at about 200,000. Our chapters are spread all over the Philippines. In addition, we have 10 overseas chapters. The latest of these chapters are in Denmark and Italy, which was set up only last year. For where there, uh, wherever there are Filipino women, the belly chapters will be set up. Our chapters at the ground, whether in the community, the schools and workplaces, they serve as training grounds for women leadership. Here, they learn to overcome their silence, to be analytical and bold, to dare, to dare to struggle even against all odds, to savor their victories by more hard work, to be militant without losing their diplomacy and humanity. This is how we are able to emancipate women and how they are able to emancipate themselves and teach other women how to do so. But one bright spot also in this is the fact that more and more young women are joining Gabriela. And they come mostly from our community and school chapters. New, new leaders have emerged. In fact, they are slowly taking over the leadership of Gabriela. Uh, John Salvador, who is our Secretary General, is the youngest Secretary General of Gabriela no? for the last uh, 30 years. Uh, no? uh, they are held. They, these young people are, repl are replacing the old guards like myself. No. And 
and bringing, they are bringing fresh air into the alliance. They are ensuring the continuity of the work of Gabriela while bringing in much needed change. Much has been done, but much more should be done. And so we go on with our work. In, when, when we have rallies, we say, Makibaka, wag matakot. Fight, do not fear. And this is the Gabriela way of empowering or of emancipating women. Thank you very much.